Hello everybody, my name is Kevin Brown and I'm an energy assessor here at CCI. Now we know here in southwestern Pennsylvania in December the weather is going to, the temperature is going to drop. It's going to get extremely cold and there is nothing worse than hopping into the shower and running out of hot water. Now our toolkit for December for the Grassroots Green Homes is the shower timer. This baby right here is going to show us how to save money in three different ways. See, you must understand that when we get into the shower and we turn our water on, that's our water bill. Then we have to heat that water, either with an electric hot water tank or a gas hot water tank, and that's going to have an impact on our gas or our electric bill. Then we have to get rid of the water. That's our sewage. So this timer is going to show us how to save money in three different ways and we are going to show you how. Now as you can see, our shower timer has a suction cup on the back. All you do is attach it to your shower wall. Inside this timer is an hourglass that measures about five minutes. Now all you have to do is turn this upside down. All right, when you start your shower, this should measure about five minutes. And when this is done, you should be done too. Another tip for this winter and saving money on your hot water bill is adjusting the temperature on your hot water tank. A lot of manufacturers will set the temperature to 140 degrees. We suggest 120. Now, how do you even know how to change the temperature on your hot water tank. First of all, you want to turn your hot water on, whether in your bathroom or in the kitchen. Hot water, independently of any cold, if it's too hot and it scalds you, then your water is too hot. You want to consider dropping the temperature down to 120 degrees. Each hot water tank may differ, but in most cases, this panel right here in blue and red and white with the two screws, one at the bottom, at the top, and one here at the bottom. If you take those screws off, there will lie the mechanism in which you can reduce your temperature on your hot water tank. Why do you even want to do this? Number one, you will eliminate scalding for either yourself or children, and you can eliminate standby loss. That's when the water tank is not being is not being used and the heat that comes off of the hot water tank is just wasted, wasted heat. And you, by doing that, you can save yourself approximately $400 for the year by just reducing the temperature on your hot water tank. That's reason enough. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to have more information on how to make your home more healthy and efficient, visit CCI on the web at www.getenergysmarter.org or give us a call at area code 412-431-4449. Again, thank you for watching.